Hey everybody, just got down with a private photo session with model Natalie, and we had a chance to sit down and discuss what it's like to be a model for over 20 years who just turned 40 and is going strong. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and I'm here with the lovely Natalie. And uh, Natalie and I just got done doing a photo shoot here. And where are we? We're downtown Pontiac. And what studio is this? Copper Flare Photography. Copper Flare. We got uh, Rochelle, the owner of Copper Flare Photography. There's a studio right here. She's making faces at us. But, you know, no, she's not. She's, that's her normal face. Anyhow, <laughs> so we don't care. Anyhow, memory lane. We met in January 2021. Sounds about right. Over there. Ah, uh, yeah. Remember the farm? Yes. And I'll never forget you <laughs> because you came out and you go, you're Steve, right? Oh, and I'm yeah. going, who the heck is this? You know? But anyhow, this, I'll be showing these pictures up on the screen for the guys, but just down memory lane, that was yeah. some people are just setting up photographers, models. This is the dangerous crew right there. Yeah, that was a And company. there you are right there. And that, but that was a fun day, but it was cold. And here's what I, one of my cold. favorite images, which is really stupid <laughs> if you think. I go, she goes, oh, let me show you outside. And it's like frigid cold. It's not snowing, but it's frigid I think cold. It was about 32. And she, I go, sit in that. There was like a couch or something out there. Remember that? I think it was about 32 yeah. degrees. And I go, let me just do a test shot. And also I'm looking at her and go, she's turning blue. This is like ridiculous. <laughs> so I said, let's get out of here. And so we went back into the barn. But then I took this as a challenge, and I go, God, I really like that, but I want to show the cold. So I did that, if you remember that shot right there. So again, that'll be up on the, on the video so you guys can see that. But uh, it's, it's really dumb, but it's one of my favorite shots. Of, it was a lot of fun. It would represent the farm. Uh, that was a nice window shot, natural light. Yeah. That place was awesome. There was all yeah, these nooks and crannies. And, yeah. yeah. That's one of my favorite ones. That one. The I love hippie well. girl yeah. right there. And that one. Remember on the yeah. second level? Yeah, I was afraid to walk up. And you, yeah, what people don't know is we're on the second level, and it was like the boards were cracked, right? Weak boards. There were areas blocked out, not the step, because you can go crashing right down to the oh, first yeah. level. Uh, but, um, yeah, you were a trooper that day. So, anyhow, uh, and we did some classes, right? Or you with yeah, uh, Rochelle at MPW yeah. and stuff. So yeah. it's pretty cool. So, anyhow, so let me ask you, how did the day go? Oh, it went wonderfully. And what yeah. was the big day today for it was my big 4-0. Yeah, she just turned 4-0. I was going to say she just turned 5-0, but it's 4-0. <laughs> and she looks great for a 4-0. And uh, wait till you get to my age. <laughs> I got you by 32 years, girl. So anyhow, um, let me ask you this question. How long have you you've been modeling? I have been modeling off and on for the last 20 years or so. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't realize that. More active probably in the last six. Okay. But yeah. And you don't also model, you do something else. I also do hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. And um, yeah. And Weddings, I've, I've events, seen some of her work and it's awesome. So I think it's important at the end of the video, I'll start showing your stuff, full name, your email address. Perfect. Any other thing, any other information you like to have shown? On oh. There? Like, I mean, <laughs> one, a lot of people don't want their phone numbers on there. So I'm going to leave that up um, yeah, to you. Yeah, phone number and email is fine. You want that phone? Yeah, okay. that would be just So if you guys are ever in southeast Michigan, need a makeup artist, hairstylist, or model, there's your girl right there. She does a great job. She's got a lot of experience. Uh, made my job really hard today. <laughs> Everything was like, I, I've got what I wanted. I got what I wanted. We changed outfits and stuff. She did a great job. Okay, so I'm going to ask you this. What do you look for in a photographer? Oh, my goodness. Because if somebody calls you up yeah. and says, I'd like to shoot with you or whatever, what, what do you? What goes through your mind? Uh, I mean, first of all, obviously because I've been around it for the last twenty years, off and on, I I go for the quality of the images, the clarity in the eyes, or whatever the focal point is. In so the you're picture. looking at their portfolio. I, I am on... looking at the portfolios. I'm uh, word of mouth. Um, 
yeah, I ask around to other photographers that I know well or other um, models that have maybe worked with someone in the past. Um, uh, and a lot of just since I've been in the circuit for a while, I'm on a lot of the pages okay. um, on uh, Facebook that, you know, keep everyone aware of everybody. And so I, um, I, I use a lot of that cross-reference. And I, and I also watch, too. I'm, I'm on Facebook a lot. So I, okay. I watch people's work as it comes up. Or now, see since what you have 20 years' experience, um, have you ever had an unpleasant experience with a photographer? I, Don't mention names. I have. But if, yeah, I have. Is um, it me? No, it is not. No, but um, what would you tell to other models? It's like, because th let's be honest. I mean, there are yeah. creeps out there. And not to be sexist, but most of them are men. There are some women, you know, but, um, you know, you got to have your guard up. Yeah. So doing what you said was important, I think. Is yeah, word of research. mouth is definitely a big thing. Uh, and anybody can always reach out to me if they have any concerns or questions. Like I said, I know a lot of photographers in the Michigan and Ohio areas. Um, and also um, just, you know, things people say to you, um, conversations you have, um, behaviors, you know, just just watch, be aware. Right. Um, you know, set your boundaries ahead of time and don't let someone push them. Um, you know, I... I I'm a person who loves everybody, so it's it's been tough for me in the past to to set boundaries or to not feel, you know, pushed into maybe something I didn't feel comfortable doing, you know, and and I I really try to make sure that I make things clear ahead of time and I bring somebody with me if I need to, you know, I okay. I don't usually bring somebody with me, but most photographers will be open to you bringing an escort as long as the escort isn't getting involved. Yeah, I think that's important if, in it's, if somebody, you know, model's not sure, because um, I've actually, yeah. uh, we were talking about earlier with one of my clients that she wanted me to do a, a shoot and it was all, you know, pretty skimpy bathing suit because she's a bodybuilder uh, where she just got into bodybuilding and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I told her at the bat, I said, please bring a close friend with you. I, there's no problem in doing that. Yeah. She didn't because she knows me and she trusted me. But, yeah. Um, yeah, if you're uneasy. And I also know this, you photographers out there, if you do something bad to a model, what's, what's a model going to do? They're going to talk. They're going to talk. And you're going to be yeah. you get blacklisted, you know, blacklisted or, or whatever, whatever it is. not yeah. to work with you and stuff. Mm -hmm. though. That never, I, it's just like... I never understood that. Why would anybody do that? Mm -hmm. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. And if you do things professionally, they're going to talk you up, right? right? And how if you are have you a good experience and good images, yeah. they, they go, man, you need to shoot with this guy. And uh, yeah. I think that's important. By the way, I forgot to mention, as we're talking, I'm going to flash up maybe three, four images of our shoot today to show you what we did. Um, I'm all excited about the images that we got today. So uh, I think it worked out great. Uh, so do you have any questions for me? Um, so, what do you like most about being a photographer? The creativity side. Um, not to be on the negative side, but uh, I really, over time, this is like my 18th year now, and I can do traditional photography. I get bored with it. I, well, you know me. I like composites. I like to take something and make a composite out of it and just use my imagination to do something different. That's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. And that's why I do some of that Norman Rockwell type style with kids. I love doing that. And if somebody said, you can shoot kids or shoot models, what would you choose? Kids, hands yeah. down. That's what I would do. I just love I kids. I'm a big kid at heart. Well, anyhow. They have the most genuine uh, expressions as well, yeah, too. Everything is, is not thought out. It's, you know, just real and raw. Right. And, yeah, it, I used to love doing weddings because I always got pumped up for it. Um, everybody says, man, I can't, you know, I'm scared of doing weddings. I go, man, I love it. But um, the reason I stopped doing it is called age, A-G-E. It became too physically demanding for me and stuff. Around. So I stopped doing it. I think it was 2019 was my last wedding I did in that. But, but yeah, composite, the creative artwork, that's what I like to do the best and stuff. So even though I challenge myself in a studio environment, but, uh, yeah. All right. Do so, you have a place that you've traveled that you enjoyed shooting at the most? Oh, geez. Australia. Okay. New Zealand. UK. Um, Alaska, been to Anchorage, Alaska okay. quite a bit. I That's incredible. But the not a professional photo shoot, that. though. Okay. At that time, that was just like landscape or whatever. Uh, yeah, it would be fun to do stuff. But uh, I shot in Chicago uh, on the outskirts of downtown. 
with a professional photographer from uh, Australia that came in. I worked with him for a weekend, and that was that was a blast. Um, Tucson, Arizona, okay, out of the Dude Ranch type thing, okay, that's Western awesome. stuff. That yeah. was a freaking blast. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, so it's good to see other parts of the country and the world. And oh, that, yeah. so. Traveling is huge. All right, so things went well today. It was good to see you. Good luck on turning 40. That's a milestone. Thank you. 40 never bothered me. 50 never bothered me. 60, ooh, started bothering me. So let me ask you this. I find that most women freak out when they turn 40. Is that true? You start thinking... I think I'm doing okay, but yeah, I think you get to that point where, you know, it's like, have I done the things that I, you know, wanted to do by this age and things like that. And I think probably every decade, you know, every, yeah. you know, 10 year period or something you have that, or it's, you know, you look in the mirror and you see your face changing or you, you know, you just, you see yourself in a different way. And I think there's a lot of growth there as well, which is nice, but you you just <laughs> you know you look back at all this and you're like wow you know uh, the this could have gone this way or that could have gone yeah. that way and there's i think a lot of that with with any big life change or time change or you know whatnot but i you know i'm happy i'm happy where i'm at i'm you know working i would on love to be 50 <laughs> again i'll take 50 anytime <laughs> and stuff so i don't know that i would go back to like 20 or 30 no, necessarily no, but they always say you're young and dumb. You think you know everything in just the dumbest time of your life. I've heard that over and over again. And in my 20s, they go, yeah, right, yeah, right. And all of a sudden later, rough. you go, yeah, they, they were right. You know, that is, you, yeah. know, you think you're smart and you know it all, but you really don't. So <laughs> maturity is, humbles yeah. you a bit. So. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, thanks again. It was Thank great you seeing so much. you again. Hopefully we bump into each you. other again. And um, you know my ending, people. Get that camera out, start shooting, making a lot of mistakes, and literally keep thinking out of the box. Until next time, see ya. Thank you.